Uh, Becky and I have been uh, together as best buddies for a long time. Known each other since the third grade, which was a long time ago. And uh, ever since I've known her, she's always been one of the cool kids. Like, she's pretty, she's tall, she's got nice hair. <laughs> she's always been one of the cool kids. And I have always looked up to her, you know, figuratively and literally. She's <laughs> But she's always, what stuck out to me about her ever since the third grade was that she was one of the cool kids, but she was always one of the nice cool kids. And that's what I always stuck with me through these years was when everyone's going through crazy growing pains and everything, people are mean to each other. You've seen the movie Mean Girls, you know, that's kind of our, our elementary school, middle school, high school experience. Uh, she was never one of those kids, ever, and she was always kind to everybody. And even through all the stages of life that we've gone through since the third grade, she still doesn't have an ounce of malice in her heart. And um, I think of all the people in the world, I don't think anyone deserves happiness more than she does. And I'm going to try to hold it together so we can get through this speech. And uh, Brian? <laughs> Honey's Honey, I now call. Honey's Husband? now. Um, you're so strong, so kind, and you're the right fit for Becca because she needs a strong hand to kind of move her through life. And I couldn't think of anyone else in the whole world who would be a better match for her than you. So I'm thrilled for you to join my piece, the piece of my life, and that we can move forward together through all of our lives. So I know you all will keep uh, living big, dreaming big, and loving big, and I wish you all the happiness in the world. Okay.